In this video I want to talk about ender crystals. First of all some general snapshot information if you're not following snapshots. In 1.9 um, it will be possible to summon the ender dragon by using four end crystals which you can get in item formats from skeleton horses which are very rare so these items are really really valuable and uh, then you can place them on the end portal to summon the ender dragon. And what I want to show in this video is how you can also use um, that three of these end crystals can also be end crystals from towers and I want to show how you can get end crystals from towers and how you can place them at the portal so that they can be used to summon the ender dragon. Um, one of the end crystals must be placed in item form because otherwise the event just won't trigger because it's kind of a right click event thing but I will just show you how you can get an ender crystal from here over there. So first of all we need to know how we can get an ender crystal from away from this bedrock block because um, the methods now are different when uh, the ones in 1.8 because in 1.8 the end crystals uh, summoned in a way that it instantly deleted this bedrock block and before that the methods asked were also different when the methods which are possible now because we can now use entity warping so if you use uh, a theoretic pool to teleport a piston into here then it won't um, destroy the ender crystal because it won't move it and then you can um, extend this piston and because of the entity warping bug the end crystal will be warped up here and then you have them away from the spec warp block then you can move them without um, any problems um, you need, still need to be careful but that's basically the idea. So you, we can get ender crystals away from the end tower and then I will just quickly summon an ender crystal closer to a portal. Now uh, I will show how you can get them into position at your portal so that it counts as an ender crystal that you placed so that you don't need to use an ender crystal item but can just use an ender crystal um, from one of the towers which are much easier to get. So um, first of all we will have to push them down more and um, the most difficult thing here is to get the height correctly because um, the ender crystal needs to be at a very specific height so it's not too low and not too high up so you want to place a stick piston here which we will use later to only um, push the ender crystal half a block and another block and now um, the ender crystal is still too high up to be placed at the portal but if we would push him an entire block lower then he would be too low and would explode when we would push him against the portal so what we need to do is we need to provide this piston with our one game tick pulls and I will just show you one monostable which can do that and um, technically the monostable I'm building right now is a one redstone tick monostable or two game tick monostable but um, because of pits and weirdness this piston will only um, extend for one game tick and then stop the entire extension and then the ender crystal will only get pushed one block so that's the one stable and you can push him down and then the ender crystal only got pushed down half a block when he has exactly the right height so that we can just push him in and then he will be at the portal and now um, you can see he plays with flame bear and then he's in place and now this ender crystal will count as an ender crystal when we try to summon the ender dragon. So if I would place another three ender crystals here, then this would start the summoning animation. And for this ender crystal, you didn't need any precious ender crystal items. You could just take it from one of the towers. And that's basically everything I wanted to show in this video. How to reduce the cost from four ender crystal items to one ender crystal item and three ender crystals from towers. And the ender crystals also regenerate whenever you summon the ender dragon. So you will probably never run out of tower ender crystals because once you took three ender crystals from towers and used them, they will just respawn and then everything will be fine again. Anyway, that's everything. Bye.